Hello and welcome back to the Jazz Ranch. I'm here in my alcove where I do all my video editing. This is my digital piano and my computer here. And I'm going to give you some special tips this evening on how to use my website and my channel and my YouTube channel to the best advantage. And also give you a quote from Dizzy Gillespie. He said this, he's the great trumpet player, he said, As a jazz musician you always have to have one foot back in the past and the other foot forward into the future. So I thought that was an interesting and valid quote. So now I'm going to give you some special tips on how to use my channel. Here we go. Starting out, I just want to say that a lot of folks write to me and they want to know how to link my book to the videos or how to uh, find certain videos that they're interested in. And so I'm going to show you some tips here now. First thing, I'm just going to go to Google. So, and I'm going to Google my name. Which you know, of course, is Kent Hewitt. Or you can call me Clark Kent if you like. Anyway, now, if you, when you Google my name, you're going to see the first thing that shows up is my website. And then there's my book. And then there's a video and music downloads. Now, you can go down until you find YouTube. There it is, my name with YouTube. So let's just try that first. Let's go to YouTube. And what that will do, it will take you to my channel page. There's other ways to get here. Now, if you're on a video, let's just bring up a video. If you're watching a video of mine and you want to go to my channel page, all you have to do is click on my name here below the video. Okay, so here it is. And that will take you to my channel page. Now, here's the great thing or the interesting thing about the channel page, I would say. First, first of all, you have home, category home, and it gives you a current video and some newer ones along here. And then if you go to videos, click on videos, you'll see all the videos I've made pretty much in order from the most recent to some in the past. But the most interesting thing here is to go on playlists and what you'll see are various videos that I've done put into categories. I've categorized them under subjects like chords and comping tutorials, spread voicing tutorials, easy jazz lessons and so on and so on, locked hands tutorials, great standards, so on and so on. So say you want to start with easy jazz lessons, you just click on the title not on the video, because if you click on the video, you'll get that particular video that is in front. But you want to see all the videos under that category. Just click on the title. Now you see the list. Piano finger exercises, the strength of weaker fingers, easy improvisation exercises, the most essential chords to learn. These are all the easy ones. Love, love me tender, the art of reharmonization. I also say these are the these are the easier videos to uh, find. Now, once you click on the video. I'm going to show you some things you can do. First of all, you get an ad which you can watch. Hopefully you'll watch it because then I get more money. But anyway, if you skip the ad, it'll go right to the introduction. And now you can manipulate certain things while you're watching this. And we're going to go, go into that next. Okay, I'm trying to get a better angle here. Now, here's a tip. If you want to, a lot of people ask me to slow down my videos. In other words, talk slower or show things, explain things, or play or, slower. Or One thing you can do on your own is you can go to this wheel down here. It looks like a little wheel or a button and, and it's the settings button. You'll see if you put the cursor over it, you'll see it says settings. And when you click on that, you have some options. And one of them is the speed. Now it's set for normal speed. Let's listen to it. Of the song. So now what I did was this. I took the melody. Okay, now if you set it Let's click on speed and go into it, open it up. Now we have some options for slowing down the video. So you're going to go up to 0.5. Now the video has to be running for that to work. So see, it didn't work because it wasn't running. But if it's running, select it again. Uh, within the, C6. the 0.5, you're going to see, you're going to hear it slow down. No, now it's actually, my voice sounds like I've been uh, sleepwalking. It's a little weird, but see, it, the whole the it's running at half speed now. See, everything I'm playing is at half speed, but the pitch has not been changed. The sounds distorted, but now you can really see what notes I'm hitting, and you can hear the explanation slower. So that's one tip. The other tip is use the same settings button now to find subtitles. Now this will give you subtitles. For any language you want. So it's set to off now. We'll go to on and 
click on English first. So let's take a look at that. So here you see the subtitle. Go in there again, click on auto translate. Now you can pick out any language you want. Let's try, let's say French. Okay, now, now you've got the start and let's see, we're gonna. And E minor. And then I go to the better to do it when it's, there it is. And I go to the four. Now you can see. Now here I use something. There's the French subtitles. I could just stay on the four chord and then go to the five chord. Okay, let's try to another language. Let's go really to maybe. There, so I want really a one oops, chord that's quality. Let's but go with back. The G in the bass. Now I can approach subtitles. Here, let's go to auto translate and we'll here. try Italian. But that's it. Let's listen to that. And then I create some movement there in the bass line. And then. Okay, now you have. The diminished chord take there's the your Italian the subtitles five, of everything I'm saying. Okay, we'll try, uh, let's there. see what Russian looks like. Approach tone to fill it in. Then I go to the, now this is a D minor. Keep having to go back to auto-generate. So it's super tonic. I call it a super tonic. To the five. Okay. Descending down. There we have Russian now. Then the six chord, then the two, then the five. Then and the one five. more, maybe this Chinese. Sorry if I missed you as I apologize. In their natural form without altering them. That's the important thing. Auto translate. C, D minor, E minor, A minor. Chinese simplified, we'll go with that one. Major. Then there's this one chord that. And there you have it. The C, with the G in the bass. Then I go to the two chord. I go to the five chord, the three chord, then the six Moving on. Chord, then the the two next chord. tip has to do with your computer keyboard. You can start the action or stop it using just the space bar. See, now it's. Going to a D minor seven, then I. That stops it at any given point. That starts it again at that same point. So stopping, starting. Now the other thing is these arrows will, this will uh, reverse it. In other words, just a slight amount. If you just tap it, or if you hold it down, it'll reverse it quite a ways. But if you just want to review one phrase, just hit that, tap it. So now I have and if you want to move forward, you can move forward through the video using the forward arrow buttons here. I'm going to demonstrate this now from the screen. Now, stopping the action with the space bar, starting it with the space bar. Rewinding, let's listen to a phrase and then rewind it. Stop it, rewind it. And just staying on the one and going to the three and then the six. If you just hit it slightly, it'll just rewind maybe one phrase. Here I have a four chord approach. Here I have a four chord approach. See, I'm just hitting the space bar for a second. I mean the uh, backward button. The three. So I can do backward. So I have a couple of taps and go back maybe a little bit further. We know that's the cycle of this. Here at five one, we know that's the cycle of this. Then the two five, the three, and then the six, and the two five one, we know that's the cycle of this. So back a little further. Rather than just staying on the one and going to the three and then the six. So you can really review a whole section if you want doing that. And then if you want to move forward, you hit the forward arrow. That's forward. But I guess the most practical one would be the backwards one if you want to review something that I said. So I think those are a few good tips that will help you to now also the second take advantage of my using, YouTube tutorials what are the in a better way. Those in the I should also point out if you prefer you can just use these buttons down here to be so that'll major start major the video the that'll stop it and also you major. can First one is adjust the position here the three you know if you want to go back or right. forward you can adjust the uh, progress of the video to any so point and these these Sevens. numbers up be here for, tell you where you're where you're at. 14. First one four, so if you want to find a specific thing and ask me about it, you just can see that that number there tells you where that's occurring. 14. That's 14 minutes and two seconds right there. Okay. Then here's your. These other things you probably know. This will change it to the next uh, video. So you don't want to hit that unless you want to move to the next video. So that's about it. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is show you some tips about my website. Just Google my name. Sorry if this is a little out of focus, but anyway. First category is my website. Now, you have these options on the left-hand panel. You can go down number six. 
free music downloads and you can just scan through those or scroll down and see what free music downloads you have now let's uh there's the super locrian so let's click on that download the file now you have all these pages on the locrian scale that you can download to your computer and study all these licks i've written out so you have that and now uh also you have my book if you go to my book here's the book a view of it here's the sample page you can click on the page and see a larger version of it now and you can download that and study it you can go back here click on more more info and you can see the book and all the table of contents here's book one all the subjects and categories in book one the appendix and then book two so there you have that um, also my biography you can look at here and book endorsements piano duets play from a lead sheet all sorts of things you can look up on my website now also purchase the jazz book you can go here and add it to a bag you can download my book to your computer directly using a shopping bag without even having to email me that's the new feature so now we'll continue Now, I was surprised to learn when people wrote to me that they didn't know about these techniques, especially the one about finding my channel page and looking at my playlist and then being able to select any category and somehow, you know, be able from there to link it up with my book. So that's an important tip. So I hope you will use these tips and write to me and let me know how they're working for you. And I will say until next time, until the next video, swing loose, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.